Okay, this is an elite book, model 820G3. This one has 24 gigabyte of RAM and 128 gigabyte of hard drive, which needs to be replaced with a bigger one. So today, I'm going to show you how to Hackintosh this HP. The battery on this one lasts approximately four to five hours. It's really good. And it's small, 12.5 inch, very light and solid. So let's get started. close the lid so let's see how long it will take this guy to go to sleep so normally when you close the lid without using the sleep command with Catalina it does take longer now it's sleeping with the closed lid very nicely so important thing is this when we open this up all the power should be on, all the USB. It would take about maybe 15 or 20 seconds. That green light will be, the one on the left hand side will be off. It's flashing slowly. It's just like the windows. So it's, the one is practically a perfect MacBook Pro 13 too. So what is working? audio is working so right now we're using the HDMI but actually this one has the uh, display port only but I use a display port to HDMI and we also get the sound and the Bluetooth so I use the DW1820 so I have the handoff support which the handoff support the airdrop will work with the Bluetooth and we can send files and with Catalina you can also import from phone take a photo so I'm going to take this one use the photo and here it is isn't that nice so the camera will work with the FaceTime you should have iMessage card reader is not working Ethernet is working so this one has the uh, Intel L219LM graphic display full acceleration HD520 and dynamic RAM is 1.5 gig so we're connecting to the external display this one the memory it has 24 gig USB everything is working network is working Wi-Fi The keyboard is for the dimmer is working automatically without patching. Uh, right now the sound is um, let's use the internal speaker. Then it will work. And if we use the Dell, so the sound will go to the Dell. With the perfect MacBook, you can use the Apple ecosystem. Everything will be on the Apple server iCloud. So for me, with the family, 
my family have all the iPhones. We can share all the data together on the calendar. When one person makes an appointment or need to go somewhere, and if they store it in the calendar for the family, it will notify everyone before the appointment comes. Also, the reminder is that for the family, if we want to buy something, anybody can just put whatever they need to add in. So when I open it up, I know what to buy. All the contacts I have will be downloaded from anywhere. The mail system on this one is amazing. So I can add as many as I want. And we subscribe to the music so we can have a TV and we can have iTunes. I'm not going to merge a library now. So all my kids can browse the music which we pay monthly. So this is what I listen. I'm sure my, my daughter will listen differently. So when you make a Hackintosh it should be so that you can get into the Apple ecosystem and many people use iPhones but they don't even know what an ecosystem is especially with Apple. Read about the Mac OS Catalina. This is a photo. I can pick out any photo and create a slideshow and I can choose whatever I want. It's very nice. And I also have iMovies, which I make the video for you to watch right now, which is very easy to use. And we have a Raj Band, which I like to create music sometimes, like this one. Apple gives you free loops, which you can drag into here and make music. Or you can make Keynote. It's the same as PowerPoint, but it's much better because you can actually put video in. So make your first Hackintosh. See that? But you can put sound in here. You can play video in here. Apple ecosystem and all the software is so good that if you go in it already, you will not go with anything else.